Patrick Stewart to retire from the X-Men franchise. He's not really active anyway. However, he did give it a good start, giving it sort of fan base from the Star Trek franchise. His good acting was very underrated for the first X-Men film. Like, that was a really good film. Unlike most people who think he's just a good pilot. It just, certain things they did it was very well. I mean, Patrick Stewart, first off, is just great to cast because he's British bald dude. Old bald dude. With a Shakespearean background that good, the good kind of, not good kind, but like more professional kind of voice. British voice. He gave Wolverine a start trying to explain to him how the like, X-Men franchise worked and it, it was done very well. Despite the fact that when he was playing Captain Luke Picard in Star Trek, he wasn't really the science guy, which I found interesting. He was a good leader, probably a good leader b backstage too, helping actors with uh, signing the lines, preparing for the role, etc. I felt like James McAvoy is a better actor. I don't know if he looks the part like Patrick Stewart does. Like, he has that old guy face. Like, James McAvoy looks obviously young, unfortunately. And he's supposed to be young in the role, but I don't know. Also of note is that Hugh Jackman recently said that he'll retire from Wolverine and the X-Men franchise after Old Man Logan's done. I mean, it should be a good note to end on, considering that was probably the best Wolverine. One of the, if not one of the best, Wolverine stories ever told. So that would be a good North End on. Not to mention, he's just a great indie actor. Like, I felt like. Like, they really watered down the Wolverine character for Hugh Jackman as well. Like, before he was, like, this really tough guy, and now he's sort of, like, this generic, like, superhero type guy. He's, like, a parody of the original character in the original film that I feel. So, those are my thoughts on Patrick Stewart and. Hugh Jackman leaving the X-Men franchise.